On that note, let's head back to the news coming out of Morocco. The powerful earthquake we've been tracking for you all morning that has killed at least a thousand people, injuring many, many more. Let's try and bring in the Foreign Affairs Minister, Melanie Jolie, in the conversation and to understand what Canada is doing to help Morocco at the moment. Minister Jolie, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us on CTV News Channel. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Of course, uh, Canada is a great friend of Morocco, uh, and when times are difficult, well, we're there for her friends. So uh, the goal right now is definitely to make sure that uh, the uh, Canadians that are in Morocco are safe. Um, at this point, we know that there's a very important Moroccan community across this country. We know also that many Canadians go to Morocco for business, also for tourism reasons, and there's around... 4,800 Canadians that have registered with the embassy. We have, as of this morning, 11 o'clock, 31 people that had reached out for information. None of them have reached out uh, yet for any form of help. It was rather for information. But my message to you and to our viewers right now is to make sure that people register with the embassy. They can go online also through my own social media or the social media of Global Affairs Canada to make sure that... Uh, they have access to uh, the registry because that's the best way to make sure that we are in close contact with them. All the staff, all our diplomats are uh, safe. All the locally engaged staff also in Rabat are safe. The embassy is working. I've been in contact with the uh, charge in Rabat. And so everybody is working 24-7 to make sure that Canadians are safe and that we can provide help. I can also answer questions of what we can do to help Moroccans themselves and their government. I would like to, to know more on that front as well. But before we get to that, Minister, I was speaking with a lady, Fiona Richards, who is from British Columbia. Just a few minutes ago, we had a live conversation with her. And I asked her this question about the communication from the Canadian government. And she replied saying that she hasn't heard much from the Canadian government. So what would you say to her? The best thing is for her to register and to go uh, through uh, social media and, and, regis and register online. Why? Because we have updates that are quick and that are frequent to make sure that Canadians know what to do. At this point, what we know is that there's more than a thousand uh, that, that there's more than 600 people that have been injured. At the same time, we know that uh, airports and also um, Airports and, and roads are open. Right. Are, I'm sorry, are you there? Yes, we can hear you, ma'am. Please continue. Yes. Are you there? Uh, Minister Jolie, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, we seem to have lost that contact with Minister Jolie. We'll try and again to connect with the Foreign Affairs Minister there. She, of course, has the advice that Canadians need to register while they are in Morocco so that they have constant information coming in from the Canadian government. And Canada, of course, like she said, is there for Morocco in all help that is needed in this very difficult hour.